A lot's happened in Kaylee McEnany's life since leaving the White House. So good afternoon. I have an announcement for you. After serving as President Trump's press secretary, she's become a high-rated star of Fox News. Hello, everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Kaylee McEnany. Where she co-hosts the show Outnumbered. And God is at work even when it feels like he's so silent. He's not. When Kaylee left the White House in 2021 to work in television, she was not only making a career change. She and her husband, Sean, were also focused on the home front, hoping to grow their family. She shares part of that very personal story in her new book. Second pregnancy, it wasn't coming so easily. It had been several months, a little bit of a struggle. I mean, the months would tick by, the pregnancy test, and I just got worried and nervous. It started to weigh on me that it wasn't happening for me. During this time about two years ago, Kaylee came to CBN News to do an interview with me for her last book, while I had no idea what was going on, I felt the Holy Spirit prompt me to give her the book Draw the Circle by Mark Batterson, a 40-day prayer challenge which had encouraged me during an uncertain season in my life. So we started reading it, and I, as I'm reading this, I'm, I'm really struggling. Um, I had gone to a Christian conference in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I remember that day in particular, just Satan infiltrating my mind with worry and doubt, and um, you know, I, I was just feeling down. And I read this part of the book, and the book is about praying with anticipation, with expectation. And I'm paraphrasing here, but basically, you know, tell the mountains to move. You know, your God is, is bigger than the mountains. This book is great. God also moved people around Kaylee, like her dad, to pray. I'd taken several pregnancy tests. I thought it was past that time period um, where I would get a positive one. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I get a positive one three days after we prayed with that hopeful expectation. A few months after I saw Kaylee, the Holy Spirit prompted me to reach out to her, and the testimony that came next still shocks both of us to this day. Amazingly, I'm six weeks into my pregnancy. I had only told my mom and a few others in my family. My friends didn't know, my colleagues at Fox didn't know, no one knew, and then I'm six weeks pregnant and I get a voice text from you, Abigail, and it is so sweet um, about the fact that you had gotten a word from God and you felt that I was either trying to get pregnant or were pregnant potentially. And the word that kept coming to mind was boy. And I started to tear up when I got the message. I sent it to my husband and he was flabbergasted by it, um, amazed by it. Because as it turns out, we did conceive a boy. No way of knowing that at six weeks pregnant. In her new book, Kaylee mentions how it wasn't the first time God prompted someone to reach out to her in a moment when she needed to hear from him. I was very lonely. I was just trying to call anyone who would answer. No one was answering. My mom wasn't answering. And I'm like, God, if you're there, I just need to hear from you. And in that moment, my phone lit up and it was a number I didn't know, which normally I wouldn't answer, but I'm like, I'll talk to this telemarketer if I have to. I'm that lonely. So I answered the phone um, and it said, this is the Journey Church. It was the church I was attending. We feel like we need to pray for you. How can we pray for you? And at that moment in my life, I don't even remember if it was a female or a male, but it was the risen savior speaking through an emissary, changing my life forever. In both her book and on TV, Kaylee boldly shares a message of finding hope in Christ, believing it will resonate with both a Christian and non-Christian audience. There's such a yearning in this country. And you look around at, at the horrible things that we are seeing, school shootings, anger, animosity, crime. I mean, all different forms of evil, but they are all symptom of a much bigger problem. And it is the problem of evil that is loose in this country. And we as a country, um, and especially, unfortunately, among the younger generation, um, have turned away from God. She tells CBN News her prayer for our country is this. My prayer is for a revival. There's good versus evil playing out. It's bigger than a political party. Um, we're battling for the soul of this country. And young people, uh, don't turn to Washington, don't turn to corporate America, turn to Christ. So that is my prayer that this hatred, this division, this animosity that I don't think really existed in the political landscape as much 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I want to see it go away. And it only goes away when we turn to Christ. Abigail Robertson, CBN News.